Hello everyone I welcome you all to the next episode of our question discussion series of Dipsicle Me today we are going to discuss a question of gate 2022 mathematics examination this is a question of ring theory so let's start with the question in this question we are given that we have two proper non zero ideals j1 and j2 of a non zero commutative ring r and we are given two statements p and q we need to check whether p implies q q implies p whether p doesn't imply q q doesn't imply p or any other implication right so the two statements are first statement p states that for any two arbitrary elements r1 and r2 of the ring r there exists a unique element r in r such that r minus r1 should belong to the ideal j1 and r minus r2 should belong to the ideal j2 this is a p statement and q statement is j1 plus j2 equals to r q statement means that j1 and j2 are co-maximal ideals so what are co-maximal ideals first of all we need to know what these two statements means so co-maximal ideals we say two ideals j1 and j2 of a of a ring r are co-maximal if their sum is equivalent to the whole ring r that is j1 and j2 two distinct ideals proper ideals two distinct proper ideals j1 and j2 are co-maximal ideals if are co-maximal ideals if j1 plus j2 is equals to the whole ring r and how do we define the sum of two ideals sum of two ideals is defined as so i will define j1 plus j2 as the collection of elements a plus b such that a belongs to our ideal j1 and b belongs to our ideal j2 see the co-maximal ideal means this and we have to check whether p implies q q implies p or any other implication right for this first of all we claim that q does not implies p see if i need to check that q implies p that means any two ideals which satisfy this condition it should satisfy the p statement also right if p if q implies p that means if j1 and j2 are ideal such that j1 plus j2 equals to r then this statement p must hold but i am going to claim that q doesn't imply p that means i have a pair of ideals j1 and j2 such that p does not hold for that ideal so i am taking an example so for statement q right for statement q if i consider let a ring to be the ring of integers the first ideal j1 to be because we need to take two proper non zero ideals so j1 to be 3z and say j2 equals to 5z right now we see j1 and j2 both are maximal ideals in the ring of integers and any two distinct maximal ideals are co-maximal so j1 and j2 are co-maximal ideals j1 and j2 are co-maximal ideals maximal ideals that is this implies j1 plus j2 is equivalent to our whole ring r that means q statement holds here we have j1 and j2 which satisfy q statement what i need to check whether p holds or not see i am taking r1 to be 3 
in ideal j1 r2 2b 5 in ideal j2 right so these two are elements of ring also now if i consider r to be 0 so if r equals to 0 then r minus r1 is minus 3 which belongs to ideal j1 theek hai and r minus r2 is minus 5 which belongs to ideal j2 so what do i have is i have a ring element r this belongs to a ring so zero belongs to a ring and zero is an element of a ring r such that zero minus r1 belongs to our ideal j1 and zero minus r2 belongs to our ideal j2 but q statement does not implies p statement here because there was a one more condition of uniqueness of r but here if i take r to be 15 say i am taking r to be 15 then r belongs to a ring r and this small r minus r1 is nothing but 15 minus 3 which is equals to 12 which belongs to our ideal j1 and small r minus r2 is 15 minus 5 which is 10 which belongs to our ideal j2 so i have two dis different r elements of ring such that r minus r1 belongs to j1 and r minus r2 belongs to j2 this contradicts the statement p that means q does not imply p so i can say that q does not imply p because i have a pair of ideals j1 and j2 which are co maximal but p statement doesn't hold for those so q doesn't imply p now we need to check whether p implies q or not see so according to p statement right according to p statement let r1 comma r2 belongs to our ring r there exist a unique element r belongs to r such that this r minus r1 is an element of j1 and r minus r2 is an element of j2 this is given to us we have to show whether this implies q statement or not i claim that p implies q so what do i need to show is to show that j1 plus j2 is equivalent to whole ring r see i know j1 is a subset of r j2 is a subset of r this implies j1 plus j2 is also a subset of r this is one sided what i need to show next is r is a subset of j1 plus j2 for for that what would i consider is i will take any arbitrary element s of ring right any arbitrary element and i will show that this s belongs to the ring to the sum of ideals j1 plus j2 be any arbitrary element of r be any arbitrary element of r fine now if i take my r1 to be minus s right and r2 to be 0 both r1 and r2 belongs to r i can say r1 comma r2 belongs to r so by given hypothesis i have a unique r such that I'm going to the next page by given hypothesis 
what is p statement states we have unique r such that r minus r1 which is equals to r minus minus s which is equals to r plus s belongs to j1 and r minus r2 that is r minus 0 which is nothing but r belongs to our ideal j2 see r plus s belongs to z1 and r belongs to z2 now z2 is an ideal so this belongs to this implies minus r also belongs to j2 right so i have this and i have this right from this i can conclude that r plus s plus minus r a element of j1 and an element of j2 their sum must belong to the sum of ideals j1 j2 this is nothing but s so s belongs to j1 plus j2 s belongs to j1 plus j2 and as s was any arbitrary element of our ring r and s belongs to r implies s belongs to j1 plus j2 we can say that r is a subset of j1 plus j2 so going to the previous slide if this was our star this implies j1 plus j2 is a subset of r and double star implies r is a subset of j1 plus j2 from both of these i have j1 plus j2 is equals to r that is q holds so p implies q thus in this question the statement q it doesn't imply p but the statement p implies q so option a is the correct answer p implies q but q does not imply p option a is the correct answer for this question for any further query you can comment me in the comment section and if there is any question that you want to ask you can suggest us through the comment section thank you for watching the video thank you so much